okay so let's to back to our maze and a little focus on the algorithm and the method that our maze should be used to able to solve these maze so as you can see this is our maze so for solving these maze, this is our starting point. You could actually have a two different way to solve this, right? So the number one is you go straight to that point, go to the uh, right side, then actually comes whole with this way down. So then here, then actually move here, then back here, and another turn left should be back to this point, number one. So number two is you go straight instead of going that way you actually back from this point so that means back to here so back here go there and again you are able to solve in this direction that i show you back to the again starting point so two different method you could solve so definitely uh, you could have the codes that do the either one so but let's do first we focus on the uh, one the first way that i show we want to design the uh, algorithm that able to go and solve the road the maze in this direction that i show to you okay so back here again to this point so if you want to do that definitely there is a, we are going to use two method the one we want to write the function that our robot able to the, keep the distance from the left wall and whenever see there is something the wall in the front it's turned right okay so that means keep follow the left if you see something in front keep to the turn to the right so if you do that, let's to see how it works. If I have, suppose I have algorithm function that able to robot able to keep the specific distance from the left, then whenever see there is something in the front, it's turned the right. So this is my robot. This is actually the left wall. So I could have some algorithm calls that keep the specific distance from the left side and uh, let to see if i start from this point so if you keep a distance to the left so i should be fine here because the algorithm just keep the specific distance from the left wall so it comes here it see these uh, data from the front sensor so it should be turned right so see this is the right so that means if i have a function like this it should be fine so then Still, it keeps the distance from the left. Here, it stops. See something in the front. It should be turned again right. So, see, just the algorithm. I'm thinking about the algorithm. Just keep the distance from the left. If there is something in the front, keep just turn right. So, that means until this point, it's working. Again, keep the distance from the left. So, you see there, we have a left wall here. See something in the front. It's actually turned right. So, again, keep the distance from the left which is should be fine but see here there is something in this uh, point so that means it see these uh, uh, point which is suppose you have these here so it's it's actually is there stop there so but the problem is base of the old point so that means in this point there is a something there it's it's turned right here same in this point there is something there it's actually turned right so comes here the same the function should be war something in the front it's turned actually the right but here it see there is a something here but if, if you just use that same algorithm that means if something here turn right so definitely it should be turn actually the right which should be this point so that means yes it should be fine in this point so that means the same algorithm should be work so then keep going keep the distance from the left which is this wall the problem is here so again it comes here so because in this side the left the left side is open you see actually the big uh, number from the left it thinks you are actually moving to the right side so it's turned the robot to the left which is somehow stuck some point here so that means if you actually use the keep the distance from the left or follow the left wall whenever you see something turn right so it should be worked all the way down here and in this point you should your, your code should be do something else 
So what we are going to do in our algorithm, whenever we turn actually right here, we are going to switch to follow the uh, right wall. So that means after this point, it's turning, it's, it's try to keep the um, distance from the right wall. So which means should be fine here. And whenever it sees something, turn actually uh, left so again in this point we have few more codes which just drive the um, drive the car a little forward then again turn to the left side then actually follow the right wall so if I summarize about the algorithm that we want to design number one we want to actually have function one actually is a follow left wall the next one is the follow right wall so then depend on where we are in the maze we somehow call these two functions so the both a follow left and follow right is just keep the distance from left or right so the then whenever they see something in front of them they actually turn uh, right for follow left so that means if you are in the follow uh, left uh, function it's it's keep the specific distance from the left and whenever you see something in front it should be turned to the right so but um, follow a right function it's follow or keep the distance of the uh, robot from the right wall but whenever it sees something in front it's going to be turned left okay you will see this code. So if I want to show the whole algorithm here, so we start here with this point, we actually just use the follow left function. So it should be fine all the way down here. Here is fine, the same function we call until this point. In this point, we just turn right, then we actually drive the car a little bit forward that able to see the a right wall that we have here then we call the follow right function so that means after this point the robot actually follow the uh, right um, you know, wall so here again whenever it sees something it's turn left so again it should be still follow the right until this point at this point again we drive the um, drive the uh, um, robot a little bit forward then turn right again from this point to the end which is here it just uh, it still uh, follow the uh, follow the right wall okay, let's do take a look to the robot uh, move and uh, see which algorithm is following each section of the maze okay so now let's we start the uh, moving so for now it's follow the left keep the distance from the left and whenever it sees something in front turn right so this is the algorithm that is follow same algorithm it's 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 follow it keep the distance from the left if you see something in front it should be turned right okay same algorithm keep the distance from the left if there is something in front it should be turned right it's still same algorithm it's follow something turn right same algorithm so here same algorithm but now after this point it's keep the distance from the right so that means switch to the uh, follow right so it see something turn left is still the follow right here it's just move change 90 degree then it's still these keep the follow right function okay Today we are going to explain about the algorithm and how the algorithm works. So let's to take a look here. So this is our uh, simple maze. So we made actually one simple maze from the uh, wood and we want to uh, solve these uh, maze uh, with our robot that we have. So as you can see here, so there is for solving these maze robot, you have two different way you could solve it. The number one, your robot goes all the way here and just follow these green line that you see then back to the same point. So that could be a one way. The second way is you start from here instead of going straight, you actually turn here 
as you saw in the other direction that we have and again back to the starter point so it doesn't matter which way your robot is going to solve the maze we choose the second one because it is uh, somehow is uh, harder than uh, do the first one which we go is this way so what we want to do we want to actually our robot able to follow these green uh, paths that you see here start with this point and without uh, hitting any wall you should be able to go hold these uh, green paths that you see and back to the starting point so what we are going to do so the base of the algorithm the base of the code is a base of uh, two function so the first function is what we call follow left wall the next one is follow right what they mean in the follow left so your robot actually just keep the specific distance from the left and just try to keep that distance from the left wall that you have so if you actually see there is something in front it's going to be turned actually right so if i show the detail of the follow left function that we uh, have so i could actually comes the whole way down and show the detail of this follow left function that i wrote here so this is follow right so let's do see where is the follow left okay so here take a look to this function so the name of the function is follow left it's not return any data type there is nothing inside the parentheses here is view id so it's first read one error so what is the error here we call that error one what is the error one so i define that here in this line of the code i have two error one is the error left l this is not one this is l and this is right so what it says so see i want to somehow keep the specific distance from the left wall so what is that specific distance i keep that 110 millimeter which is 11 centimeter so i subtract this from the data that i got so maybe it's better to show the beginning of the code in the beginning of the code this is what we did we read the data from three sensors that we have and we call that target distance f means actually the distance from uh, front wall that you have in the same way we have target distance right which is shows the distance of the sensor to the right wall and in the same way i did the, the uh, target distance l which keep the distance from the left so that means what happened from the beginning of my code to here i just able to read the uh, three sensors data and I have three variable target distance left keep the distance from the left wall uh, target distance right keep shows my distance of the sensor to the right wall and target distance F front which shows the distance of the sensor to the front wall so if you want to see how we could read these data please watch my previous video in this playlist in the robot maze uh, playlist so the link is in top of the screen i explain in that videos how you could read the data from ultrasonic sensor or the laser sensor so please check this link that you see in the top of the screen so that means until this point i actually have the distance from left right and forward so then i declare two variable error left error right so error left is 110 minus target distance left and error right is 110 minus target distance right so somehow these two errors shows my error and shows how 
my robot is go out of that range because all the time I want to keep 120 10 millimeter distance between my robot and the left or right wall so if they go more than 110 that means they somehow go too far from the left somehow these error left should be uh, you tell me should be negative or positive so if I'm closer to the uh, left wall so definitely this number is less than 110 10, 110 so this should be a positive number so if somehow I go over 110 distance so that means somehow I'm going to far be go far from the left so which is more than 120 definitely this should be negative number okay based off this error I'm going to adjust the speed of the DC motors that we have so take a look to the error right the same thing you just say 110 minus target uh, distance R so that means if you are exactly your distance from the uh, right wall is 110 you have your error is zero so if you are going to closer to the right so definitely this one go is going to be positive number if you are going to uh, farther than 110 from the right this number should be more than 110 and this error will be negative somehow with, with this error you actually tell how much fast you should turn your left motor and how much uh, faster you should turn the right uh, DC motor so we will see that in the definition of the function for now we read the distance from left uh, right and the front wall we just make two errors so error left error right so error left is 110 minus the uh, distance from the left and error right is 110 minus stands from right so back here and see how, how follow left working so here our error will be called error left so that means which is the error is 110 mi minus the distance from the left wall so then we say if the target distance forward so that means if your distance of the forward sensor from the front wall is greater than 75 so which is the only time it is smaller whenever you are hitting the front wall right so if that's greater this this which is you have enough space in the front wall this is what happened you somehow we want to use the PID controller but uh, we don't use any value for IND I just use the uh, P controller technically I say PID I want to use the PID in the beginning then I see just using the proportional controller just P should be enough for doing the case so that's the reason I put PID but technically you will see this is just will be a P so just consider this as a variable I call that PID it is two times of the error that we have so then see what's happened so if so see you have two variable left speed and right speed this is somehow you are going to use that value to write your uh, we use an on, on, on analog write to write the uh, pulse width modulation in your motor left and right so again if you don't know about the analog write and analog read how you could uh, turn the robot left or right please check this link that you see in the top of the screen in this video I explain how you could turn the motor left and right and how you could use the pulse width modulation so the link is in top of the screen so if I summarize that if you want to turn the robot right so that means your you should actually turn the uh, if, if you want to turn left you should somehow turn the right motor faster than left if you want to turn right you should somehow uh, turn the left faster than right so that means whatever you are writing here as a pulse width modulation if you want to turn right definitely the number that uh, you are writing here if you want to turn right the left should be turned faster if you want to turn 
left the right motor should be turned faster and its DC value should be greater. So let's to see how we did that. So see, your error is one er error left, which is equal error is 110 minus uh, the the distance from the left wall. So if I'm actually exactly is close 110 distance from the sensor to the left wall so the error is zero okay if this error is zero so the PID is so see I my base is 70 and 70 should be 70 plus 0 70 minus P zero so that means left and right speed the both is same what's the meaning of that whenever their speed is same so that means your robot you turn the both DC motor in the same speed so they go straight this is what we want whenever this is the distance is 110 from the left I don't want to turn right or right left or right so I want to just go straight because my distance is 110 see whenever the, the your robot somehow turn a little bit to the uh, a little a, a little bit to the left side so if you go closer to the left so that means it's closer more than 110 millimeter to the left so that means your uh, error is a positive number right it is 110 minus uh, distance from the left if you are closer than 120 that number is smaller then the error is positive if error is positive this is a positive number you say 17 plus positive number for should be left so a right speed should be 70 minus a positive number so definitely the value of the left should be greater than right so it means the left motor it be turned faster than right so that means the motor somehow is start to turn to the right side this is what we want right whenever the distance is closer than 110 we want to somehow a little turn the DC motor to the right side that's what this speed is greater than it is what exactly what we want see whenever uh, the uh, the distance between the left sensor and the wall is greater than 110 okay so that means somehow robot start to be go farther from the left so the sensors data definitely should be greater than 110 so you say 110 minus uh, target uh, value or distance left so that I show you the equation maybe it's actually yeah it's this one so whenever the motor is farther more than 110 millimeter from the wall so this value is greater than 110 right am, am I right so that means for example you are farther from 110 you are 150 so should be 110 minus 150 so that means your error is negative number whenever you are going to be farther from the left one okay just remember that is negative number so it is negative number back here so the left speed should be 7 plus negative number and it should be 70 minus neg negative negative number should be positive number so that means the right speed in this case will be greater than left speed so that means the right motor will be turned faster than left so what's happened so that means the motor start to turn to the right side this is exactly what we want whenever the robot is going to be farther from the left it should be a little turn to the right side that keep that 110 from the left so that's what happened here whatever you got as a speed you write it down here so else what is the else else is that means the whatever you see from the front is great is not greater than 70 is smaller than 75 so that means your distance from the front wall is around 75 in that case you have uh, actually this section which is the else so what should be happen it should be right the zero zero for the motor so that means the both motor is stop you wait one second so again take a look to the data of the left and right sensor if the left sensor is smaller so that means you should actually write 140 on the right 
and 0 on the uh, sorry 140 on the left and on the right you just write the 0 so what it means that means you turn the left faster than the right so you almost the DC value is 0 here you write 140 which is give you a big DC value to the left if left motor uh, turn faster than right so definitely the the uh, robot is turning to the right side okay it's actually to the right side and then just you increase these number of the uh, these uh, these variable just one by one you increase that by one and you keep that for 500 so if I want to summarize maybe it is better to back here number one I have the I have the follow left variable so which is start to keep the motor from the left wall for 110 and whenever it, it it sees something is in the front it should be just turned right so see here it should be turned right so this is what happened so that means if i put the robot here just i follow the left uh, function so it keep the 110 millimeter from the left side whenever it sees there is something here it's turned actually right so again keep the 110 from the left whenever it sees something is there it's actually turned the right it still is the same function working so come here whenever it is something here it's turned to the right until this point so what should be happening this point in this point this is what happened we use the one variables we call that number of the right turn so in the beginning it is zero whenever we turn right it just increase that by one so that means here to here this variable is you could call that the variable flag it just shows me where am i in these uh, uh, maze and based on that i'm making the decision so i follow the left i just turn here uh, right i increase that by one so i'm here whenever i turn right i just increase that by one i'm here turn right increase that by one i'm here turn right increase that by one i'm actually here so here you see i'm not going to increase that value so whenever the left uh, sensor is a big number i increase that by one which is it is six then i just actually turn to this side and uh, this time I'm again keep the distance from the left I, I end the, the maze so that means if I tell you what's how the algorithm works I could say there is actually two functions one is the follow left which is keep me uh, 110 uh, distance from the left whenever it sees something is front it's actually turned right that's what what the uh, turn, follow left function do so see it's work here to here it's turned right here it's working so here again see something should be right here it should be fine in this point here is say is something it's turned right it should be work but what's happened here i don't want to here to follow the left after this point because there is no left here so for going being in the uh, in, in this part of the maze it is good idea to f to have the other function we call that follow right what's follow right do follow right do exactly same with the follow left with the small difference so this time your error is error left uh, error right which is 110 minus uh, the the data from right sensor okay so it, it, it is exactly similar with that it's take the distance from the front if that's greater than 65 base of the error it's actually write the value in the left and right uh, motor so this time the left is 7 minus this error and right is 70 plus this value so you could just consider this whenever error is 0 so the both is same they, there is no going to left or right so whenever the error is the positive number so that means your robot is more closer to the right side so the value of the error is positive 
So if it's the positive, this is 1 minus the positive, this is actually 7 plus positive. De definitely, uh, right speed should be greater than uh, left. So that should be happen, right? Because whenever you are closer uh, to the right, somehow your robot should be turned a little right because you are going to hit the right uh, wall. So if the robot goes farther, more than 110 millimeter to f from the right side, so technically your uh, uh, error is the, let me see, you say 110 minus that value, that value is greater than N, so definitely error is a negative number. If it is a negative number, 70 minus negative is a positive, and this should be smaller. So that means this time you term the left speed is higher than the right speed. So that's what you want. Whenever you are going farther than the right wall, so it should be turned the left faster, somehow you back to the track. So that means the follow left and right is exactly the same things. What they are doing, they keep the distance from left wall and the right wall. So for the follow left, whenever it sees it's hitting the front, it's turned actually right. But the follow right, whenever it sees it's hitting the wall, it's turned left. That's the difference between these two. So that means this is what's happened i start from this point just follow the left so if i follow the left function i'm good here i'm good here i'm good here until this point in this point i want to switch to the follow right so i just just give some comment which is drive the um, drive the robot a little bit then actually switch to the follow right so if i follow right so that means the robot should be exactly follow here that means I'm here fine until this point. In this point, I take a look to the left sensor. If it's a big number, I know, okay, I'm in this point. So then I just drive a little, uh, the, drive the robot a little forward, then actually turn to the right. So then I actually again follow the left wall function and I will be back here. So how I know where am I in this uh, maze? Because as I mentioned, until this point, I should use this just follow left. In this point, I should be just drive that a little fast. Then I follow right here to here. Here again, I need to move forward and turn right. Again, I need to follow, uh, follow the right uh, function here to here. So that's other I mentioned before. We use actually the variable flag, whatever you call, we somehow know where we are. So see, if I use call that flag or function number of the right so in the beginning I put that to zero so whenever in my code e each time when I'm turning right I just increase by one so that means in this point um this variable is one again whenever it's turned right it is two whenever it's turned right it is three so whenever it's turned here I increase by one it is four whenever I hear just speed that a little bit go four while I increase that it is five so that means whenever it is 5, it's still follow the left. And here, whenever this value left side sensor shows the big number because this distance is big, again, I increase that by 1. And it, it value should be 6. And then, then I able to turn that to the right. Then I could actually increase that again one more time. So that means here should be 7. So then in, in that 7, I just follow the left, follow left function, okay? So that means in the, my code, I just all the time take a look to this flag, as you can see here. So see, maybe this one is more clear what I'm talking about. So from these, start from here to all the way down here. So my, uh, my uh, flag is... Uh, should be smaller than 4, right? So here it is 3 in this point is turned to the 4. So that means until this point, this is 4. I could know, I could say in my code, just follow left function. That's it. So in this point, I increase the end the flag one time. So that means here to here, my flag is 4. So that means I could say whenever it is 4, just Go straight, straight, go forward a little bit. That able to see this right wall. 
then at the end of this line just increase the flag one more so that means here you uh, your uh, number of the right function the number of the right uh, variable should be five so whenever it is five just follow the right function so that means until this point you are fine in this point whenever the left sensor shows the big number so then you should actually again go forward and turn right so see whenever n number of the right this flag shows six you should go forward and turn right so then again at the end of here you increase that by one so that means this flag is seven and whenever it is seven you just have the follow uh, right function so that means here you just write follow right function working and you are able to uh, finish this distance that you have so how you could do that so using just if else function so whenever if uh, number of the right uh, variable is less than four so which is the all these way that you know, you just should you should have the follow left function at the end of this it should be increase the number of the uh, error variable by one so that means now it is four whenever it is four it just you are here to here you just need to go straight that means both speed of the uh, both DC motor is same just go a little forward that able to see these right wall at the end of that again increase that by one so that means in, in the beginning of this blue pass you are on five so what you should do in the five here you just follow the right function if you follow the right function it should be actually finished the whole way here and at the end of this just increase that the increase this flag number of the right flag or variable by one so that means in the end of this you are on the six so what you should do here in the six so you just need to go forward a little bit than 10 right so that should be happen inside this if s whenever this flag is six so again in the end of this you increase this flag by one which somehow your codes actually implement whatever you have inside the else so here you just need to follow right you just follow the right and your um, the robot able to finish the um, or the whole pass or solve the uh, maze so this is actually the algorithm if you back to the codes I show the code so again the beginning of this is exactly match with what explained in the previous video check the previous video which is talking about we talk about how you could have the live stream of the uh, ultrasonic data nothing new so here we uh, define the definitely you should have the some uh, declaration for the error and the old variables that you use left speed right speed is the name that I use PID is the other variable I use so in the setup section yeah you do the same you just say which pin is input output so definitely all uh, uh, trigger and echo pins on the old sensor one is output trigger is output the echo is input so for the old the sensor so motor enable should be output you send the you send actually uh, pulse width modulation I, I n one and two three and four they are output right we just write the zero one which just motor all the time for our case should be go forward we are not using that backward so that's what's happened here I use the digital right so I just write 0 1 and 0 1 here because I just want to move my DC uh, motors forward right backward okay so here inside the loop you see these are the same that you did for the ultrasonic so from this point all the way down here I get the data from the forward sensor saving the target distance forward here is the just duplicate the you could use the function to don't du duplicate I just copy paste the codes for getting the same I get the here data from the right save inside the uh, target distance right and here the same save the uh, target distance left so that means in this point I have the data from left right and the front so here I actually get the errors error left and right somehow shows how you far from 
left or right wall uh, more than 110 millimeters. The idea is use these error to keep the row about 110 centimeter from the left and the right uh, wall. So here is the same thing that I explained here. So back to here, this is actually the same thing. You use this flag. Based on the use this flag, you actually know where you are and send the, that specific uh, command to your uh, DC motor. So see, if it is smaller than 4, which is what's happened. So it is the all here to here, this flag, the number of the right variable is smaller than 4. So it should be just follow the left. So see, if number of the right is smaller than four what should be happen you just need to follow left that's it so whenever it is four else f whenever it is four so that means where you are so in the end of this you actually increase that by one that's four why if you take a look to the definition of the function uh, left that i show this function left so see uh, at the end whenever it says else which is somehow else is the case whenever these uh, distance is not greater than 75 so that means whenever you see you are hitting the front wall you follow the left as long as the distance from forward is greater than 75 whenever the less than 75 it is this else case we stop the motor with writing 00 on the left and right motor so then you turn right how you could turn right you just write 140 on the uh, left dc motor and right zero so that means right is not moving just the left uh, moving with actually very fast with 140 so that means it's turn right at the end whenever you turn right you increase this flag which is we call that number of the right so that's why whenever you turn each time whenever you turn right it's actually increase this flag so you start with the zero you turn here it is one okay similar things for all of them so that's what we actually have to see where we left yeah, we talk about the R equal 4, so which is, we say, uh, because in this point, it is 4, and uh, it is 4. So when, whenever it is 4, what should be happen? So it should be go just straight. Let's to see if it happen or not, whenever is it 4. So see, whenever it is 4, we just write 90 and 110. Big difference, they go straight. But somehow the right uh, it go a little faster. Why? Again, that's back to the mechanic of your uh, tire. So for my case, my robot, even whenever you give exactly same, the robot turns somehow a little have a, a tendency to turn to to turn actually uh, to turn left. So for that reason, I give these a little bit higher than this, which is somehow is go straight. So this is actually this point. So whenever you are this point, so your uh, your flag is five. So see, uh, whenever you are four, whenever you are out of that step, you increase this. So that means your flag is five. You comes here. So whenever you comes here, you just read the distance from the right. Okay, if that's is smaller than five hundred, why you read that? Because for all of them here to here. The right sensor is a small number, right? The only case it shows the big number whenever you are here, which see this big distance. For the rest, it is the small number less than 500. So I put this, if this is smaller than 500, it means you are still is not in this point. You just need to follow right. So that you follow right should be moving this blue path that you see. So that's what happened. We say just follow right. If else, which is else means uh, you are here else which is this this right sensor shows more than 500 if it's higher what you should do you should come a little straight then actually turn right so that means in the end of that point so do you follow the right so then you increase by one which that means your flag is six 
So you are in this uh, orange path. What should be happening in the orange path? In the orange path, you go a little forward, you wait 700 microseconds. So then you write here 0 to 100. You're writing 100 on the right, somehow left is stopped, and the right wheels is actually turned fast. So that means somehow you are turning the right. That's what it should be happen here. You go comes forward and now you should turn right. So that's what we give 0 and 100. It's able to turn the robot uh, to the right. A little uh, wait there, 100, 1 second. So then at the end, increase again the flag by 1. So that means you being 6. Now, whenever you are in the end of this, you actually somehow your flag is 7. So whenever you say it is 7, somehow it should be goes to whatever you have in the else. So that means here what should be happen. So here it should be just follow the right. If you follow right, it should be actually back to this point. So that's what you see here in your code. You say actually follow right. So that should be what happened in the else. And here you close the loop. And again, these are the definition of the follow right and follow left. So this is actually what you have. So I just scroll that up and down one more time, just in case if you want to take a look to the codes. So this is actually the, uh, the beginning. You just say where you connected the echo trigger motor enable and the motor rate the IN1 and 2 for both DC motor initial value of the flag number of the right flag so here you say the all of them is the flag these are yeah you you don't need this I try to use the average I see it's not giving because of the uh, outlier that we had so it's not working so you don't need this average so you just need to error 1 and 2 so the other variables, whatever you use, definitely you should declare in the beginning of your codes. So here I want to, in the beginning, I want to your PID controller. I actually have the KP, I, and D. But the rest I see the just using the proportional P is enough. You don't need to have ID. I get the result, the good result from the uh, P. So I don't use the key, key, I, and D. So you don't need this to just this KP should be right which is I initialize by one so error whatever you use so this is again integral derivative so these are what I plan to use as a PID then I see the P is enough we don't use this in our code so left is with right is to initialize the PID initialize that the variables that you need in the setup again you say which pin is input output for trigger echo motor enable and the uh, uh, IN1 and 2 for the uh, motor drive. So same for you just write the 0 and the 1 for the uh, IN3 and 4 and IN1 and 2 for the motor drive because we just move forward, right? We don't want to move backward. So the loop is, yeah, these codes is just for getting the data from uh, from the three sensors that you have so again watch the previous video ultrasonic so there is a lot of video for that I have I recorded one the link is in the top just take a look so what's happening the end of here I got I just read the uh, left right and forward and save them inside the target distance left target is then R and target distance uh, forward so I then you use the error left and right so then the similar if else that I use uh, here you see the same explanation I'm not going to explain that again so this is the same format that I explain here for each of these section that you have so again you see for R6 we did the same and at the end you see the two definition for follow left. So this is for follow left you use the error left. So if this is actually greater than 75 your, your P controller technically not PID it is two times your error. 
So again, at least for my case, it works good. If for your case, again, that depends on the mechanical uh, design that you have for robot. What's the voltage, the battery voltage that you use? All of them could be affected. So if you definitely for your case, you should adjust this. For my case, too, actually works well. So I didn't explain about this. Definitely, whenever error is too big number, you don't want to actually have the uh, big pulse width modulation number for the left and right. That's the reason you just limit that for 40. Even whenever the error is greater than 40, you just consider as a 40. If that's less than negative 40, that means big negative number, you could just consider that negative for somehow limit that error. So here, Again, depending on the BC DC motor that you have, this 70 may be changed. Okay, for my case, for DC motors that I have, which was the cheap DC motor, I wasn't happy with them because whenever you change your pulse with modulation, there is not big change in their speed. So I select this 70 definitely based off your motor, probably this number will be uh, adjusted. So these are for the left. And in the same way you had actually for the uh, motor right, so which is the same thing, but in the right, instead of turning, uh, keeping the distance from left, you keep the distance from the right. And whenever you see there is uh, something in your front, you should turn left, not right. Okay. In follow left, whenever there is something in front, you turn right. In follow right. Whenever you see there is something in front, you turn actually left. So you see here why you turn left, because you write 110 on the right and 0 on the left. Somehow it's turned to the left. Okay. So let's to load the codes in the microcontroller back to the maze and see is it working or not. Okay, let's to take a look to the robot uh, move and uh, see which algorithm is following each section of the maze okay so now let's to start the uh, moving so for now it's follow the left keep the distance from the left and whenever it sees something in front turn right so this is the algorithm that is followed same algorithm it's 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 follow it's keep the distance from the left if you see something in front it should be turned right okay same algorithm Keep the distance from the left. If there is something in front, it should be turned right. It's still same algorithm. It follows something, turn right, same algorithm. So here, same algorithm. But now, after this point, it's keep the distance from the right. So that means switch to the uh, follow right. So it sees something, turn left. It's still the follow right. Here, it's just move, change 90 degree, then is still these keep the follow right function okay 